Wow, hello people. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Uh, it's a Monday here, uh, getting close to September. Um, is it September 29th? Maybe it's August 29th, I mean, August 29th. Um, so happy to be here. Uh, the weekend was really crazy around here. Like I said, you know, people, I will, if I could do videos, I would do them every day, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I would do them every day. But um, when my husband's home on the weekend, it's very difficult. We shop together. We we go do grocery shopping and all kind of shopping together. And and I uh, we watching different things together, doing things together. It's his time to be with me on the weekend because he work all through the week and he get home really late at night. So I'm just saying to you that I'm sorry if I can't be with you more than I wish I could. And maybe uh, eventually if I ever get a bigger place, I can have a prayer room and I can have, you know, a prayer room. That's really what I'm desiring God to give me where I can just do videos anytime I feel like. But when we live in a small place like we are, I can't have that uh, space all the time to do videos. So I'm, um, I'm just going to tell you I really miss you, and I really been just listening to Mina Grebin in Orlando, Florida, which I really uh, wasn't going to listen to right now, but I happened to listen to it a few minutes ago. And I have sent it out to you privately in an email, so I hope that you guys get to listen to her um, her timely message right now for us, because I totally agree with what she's saying, people. And she had mentioned um, in her talk about being not being uh, do not being do not be conditioned, and I feel like that's really where most of us are at here in life is being conditioned. Uh, not really understanding the kind of God that we have and doubting him. And today I'm going to talk about are we blaming God, you know, because a lot of us are blaming God for our situation. And, you know, he sent his only begotten son into all the world where we can be have everlasting life. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this video because I'm telling you, we had a massive thunderstorm yesterday, last night. I mean, for hours and hours and hours. I was thinking I would get a break, you know, even last night to do a video one time. And I mean, this storm just went on forever. I mean, bad lightning and thunder and hail. And I prayed to God. I said, Lord, Father, God, have mercy. I said, don't let it be big, giant hail where it destroy the cars outside and cause damage outside. And, and then he started having these little, tiny, little, you know, little hail drops falling. So that was just a blessing from Yeshua. I thank him for listening to my prayer. He's such an awesome God. What can I say? Um... And so I'm going to go ahead and continually here with my uh, talk here for the day. Uh, we know quakes are still rolling all around. We had another quake here uh, today uh, between South America and Africa, right in, right in between the waters of South America and Africa, a 6.9 quake. And so, you know, we got these volcanoes, you know, underneath the surface, underneath the, the waters. And I know in the Canary Islands, and we're going to be having all these things happen after a while. People escalate, and they're going to go uh, and hit the east coast of the United States and cause tsunamis. And we're going to have them hitting the west uh, coast of the United States and cause tsunamis. We got hurricanes over there right now we had a hurricane just trying to uh, it broke up a little bit I was praying for it to break up in Florida uh, my mom I called her in Fort Lauderdale she said it had broken broken up she even went to church yesterday and and so uh, that storm is pushing more towards the uh, west coast I think of Florida but we need to be praying for the storm to get out of the way of people where high populations are but you know we are in the judgments of the earth we are on the land these are judgments in the end time so we're going to have to be making sure our calling and election is sure with Yeshua and that we if we do die we won't die in our sins but we are dying him people because we're going to be have a lot of people dying all around us all these things going to be happening we had an explosion here in Florida speaking of, of Florida 
We had a chemical plant explosion that took place uh, yesterday, last night. And uh, I will post all these links down below where I can save time here. I know people don't like me when I'm talking over 40 minutes, but sometimes people, you might as well get used to that because sometimes when the Spirit lead me, I have to teach on certain things and I just have to go over a little bit, okay? Sanhedrin elects Israel's high priest. I will just listen to a little bit of that from Stephen de Noon. I'm going to go back and listen to the rest of it. Uh, United Nations to take control of the internet. I know uh, Ruby uh, Tabletop and a lot of other people are talking about that. Uh, October 1st. October 1st supposed to be a time when the United Nations going to take control of the internet. So we need to be doing what we can while we can, like I'm always saying, doing what we can while we can for the master. And you know, I really think this revival is going to come to America and the land, so we'll be out of these uh, internets, out of the, off of the internet, off of the iPad, Pads, off of the i tablets or whatever, and we'll be out in the in the streets and, and, and giving the deliverance to the people what they need to know and hear right now, people, because we are in the end at the end. Is the army preparing for martial law? The Boo 777 is the law, is the, I mean, is the army preparing for the martial law? So we know they are preparing something. They are doing something. They're getting ready to bring on in the new world order, the world world the one world order, the one world religion, the one world religion. Thunderstorms galore. Thunderstorms galore at my door. And I was looking, I was just, I had put that title down there where I wouldn't forget to tell you how drastically that thunderstorm was last night. I just told you how bad it was. And right now I'm looking outside my window and it's coming in again soon. I had to take a little pause because I thought I was going to have to wait a few hours to do this video right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish it real quickly, people. Um, I'm also going to put a sermon down below, Overcoming the Dragon Intro by Joseph Skinner. Overcoming the Dragon Intro by Joseph Skinner. And also, I just ordered some material from uh, www. The Perfect Storm is Coming from uh, Charles Whelan. And uh, I would love for you to go to his website, www. The Perfect Storm is Coming. And you can also order. I know I, I always give you out the, uh, the, the What's Behind the New World order copy. And he had one, The Perfect Storm is Coming. If you would go and call 205 646 let me slow down here. 205-646-2941 and ask him for a copy of The Perfect Storm is Coming free, okay? And he would send it out to you. And I would send out you to you, um, anybody who requests these. I've been sending them out. I just sent out some Friday. So, uh, you know, we're just trying to give you the, uh, the understanding of what's coming here, people. What's going to be coming on this earth soon, as I've been saying on all my videos. So, um, go and listen to Mina Grebin if you got her, uh, you know, if you got the email I sent you. I didn't know whether she wanted me to put it on YouTube again. I don't want to just do things I shouldn't do. I'm really sorry about that, Mina. I really didn't want to put that on YouTube. I thought you wanted me to at the time. But anyway, that's okay. That's understand. I love you, sister. You're doing a mighty job for the, for the kingdom. Uh, chemical plant explosion in Florida. I said that. Uh, so I said all these things here. Uh, just a few updates. I may post some more updates later. But today I want to run here to Genesis, people. If you get your Bible, so we're going to Genesis. And I want to talk about Genesis a little bit, okay? Genesis a little bit today. Because we, we really need to know that you shouldn't be blaming God for anything in your life. You should know that the enemy and all his uh, third of the hosts of heaven was cast out of heaven. And they are down here causing chaos and chaos and chaos and troubles and problems. And trying to get you to hate God and disown God and run from God and curse God and you name it, okay? Because the devil is seeking whom he may devour. He don't care nothing about you, okay? So I'm trying to tell you the only person that's going to save you is just Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. He's the only one that really truly loves you people. Okay, so let's go here to Genesis 3. And I'm going to read here. Genesis 3. Now the serpent was most subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit 
of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For the for God does know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Oh my goodness, knowing good and evil. This is the, the lie I hear from New Agers all the time. Oh, we are our own gods. We are our own gods. We we don't we are our own gods, you know. And so you know, see people we we get the Bible and we twist the Bible and I'm telling you, he said not to touch of the tree, not to eat of the tree, and they had instructions not to do it just like you tell your child not to do something i remember tom in my son's life when he was a uh um back in his uh teenager years and i was working and i told him i say stay home i gotta run out a few minutes and get some things from the store you need to stay here till i get back do not leave okay do not leave that was the instruction so i go out come back and uh, he's home in the house crying and going on, oh, mom, oh, mom, oh, mom, I could have drowned, I could have drowned. And went down to the public pool and, 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 and his friend came by and knocked on the door and got him to go down to the public pool. And he told me, he said, guess what happened? He said, this person jumped in the water and got me out, mom. I couldn't swim and they jumped in the water and got me out. And I looked around, I didn't see nobody, I didn't see nothing, mom. And I say, well, oh, your angels was on God. Your angels was on God. Oh, yeah, mom, my angels must have was on God because I could have died. I could have died, mom. And I'm like, well, why were you out of the house in the first place? Why didn't you just stay home like I told you to do? Well, you know, we all do it, don't we? We all disobey. We all disobey God. We all disobey our parents. We all disobey our boss. We all disobey ourselves. Things we know we shouldn't do to ourselves, we do it. And so, you know, it's funny. So Adam and Eve, they was instructed not to do this. And so the, the serpent come along and say, oh, you be as gods. Okay, verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, and uh, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband and her and did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig trees together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among if the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself and he said who <laughs> who told thee thou was naked hasn't thou eaten of the tree whereof i commanded thee that thou should if not eat you know people god is not a fool god is not a fool Jehovah is not a fool. Yahshua is not a fool. Why do we consider him a fool? Why are we blaming God? Blaming God for all our problems. Blaming God for all our sins. Blaming God. Blaming God for whatever. And you know, that's what Adam and Eve was doing. They started to blame him. Right? Okay, let me show you where they started to blame him at. Okay. And he said, who told you you was naked? Okay, and go down to verse 12. And the man said, the woman. <laughs> The woman, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord said if unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And what the woman said, and the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, Thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shall shall thou go and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life that's why the snake walk on his belly crawl on his belly right now and number 15 and i will put empathy between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed and it shall abuse thy head and thou shall abuse his heel unto the woman he said i will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy co conception and sorrow thou shall bring forth children's children and their desire shall be to thy husband 
and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and twistles shall it bring forth to thee. And thou shalt eat the herb of the field, in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return into the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for thus art thou, and unto thus shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife named Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And I'm going to just leave it right there, people, okay, for time's sake, okay? So you see what I mean? Adam blamed his wife. Oh, this is the woman you gave me, caused it. Eve blamed the serpent. Oh, it was this serpent, you know. He beguiled me, you know. He, he, he tempted me, Father. Oh, you know what? We need to stop. We need to stop. We need to stop. It started way back from Genesis. That's why I want to read it to you today. We need to stop blaming Yeshua. Blaming Yeshua for our problem. Blaming Yeshua for our drinking. Blaming him for our, uh, uh, like, uh, pornography. Our sex crimes. Our, uh, our, uh, our debt. Uh, uh, whatever in our life, you know. That we just blaming God. Blaming God. Blaming God. You know, people... Yeshua is a loving God, caring God, awesome God. He say he went to prepare a place for us, so there he is, may, we may be also. He never wanted us to be in, in pain. He never, wanted to be, he never wanted us to be in poverty. He never wanted us to be without. He never wanted us to be in a, a relationship that we hate. He never wanted us to be having children that are, are killing us. I was just reading last night about another uh, episode where a, 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 a guy killed his two parents in their 60s and 70s, killed his two parents. You know, I'm telling Every day I'm seeing this more every week now. These kids are killing their parents. People, you know, God never created these things. The devil was poured out of heaven with a third of the host of heaven. And I'm telling you, they are here right now. And they are multiplying worse and worse. And they are here. And they are out to kill us and destroy us. He came to kill, steal, and destroy. And it's happening, people, all around us. Yeshua want to rescue you from this. He want to save you from this. He want to help you. So you need to give your life to Yeshua HaMashiach today, people. Let him know that he is the only only one. He wants to know that you are the only one. I was looking at a little cute cartoon thing this morning, and it was talking about this kid, and um, oh, it's such a cute little cartoon. This little boy did something he shouldn't have did, and he thought nobody saw him do it, you know, and, and so he was trying to hide it, you know, and then his sister had seen him do it, and she said, oh, I'm going to make you wash my dishes for me, and I won't tell Grandpa. I'll make you wash my dishes for me, and I won't tell Grandpa. So she's washing those dishes and washing those dishes for him, and then later on, she, she, uh, he got so tired of washing dishes, and then so uh, he's, he, he said, I'm going to tell Grandpa. I'm going to tell him, because I'm just so tired of washing dishes so he go and tell grandpa i did this bad bad thing i shot the duck grandpa i shot the duck i killed the duck and so he said oh son i already know i saw you i saw it from my window i saw you do it and i was just waiting for you to come and confess it and tell me well you know that's how our god is too he see everything you does he know everything you does he see everything you do I told you, I'm, I'm not, I don't see everything you do. I'm not living in your household, but I know he have holy angels that's seeing you and, and writing down what you do, and he's seeing everything you do, and you need to be confessing your sins to him, people, what you're doing. Well, he can clean you up, like Mina Grabbing was saying. Well, he can clean you up. He wants to clean you up, okay? He want you to be a new creature in him. He want to fill you with his Holy Spirit. He want to change your DNA, okay? So I'm just telling you, he love you people. Uh, he really wants you to give your life to him. And so we learned from Adam and Eve that, you know, we cannot be throwing it on anybody. We can't be throwing it on our friends. We can't be throwing it on our husband. We can't be throwing it on our wife. We can't be throwing it on our boss. We can't be throwing it on our grandmother. We can't be throwing it on our children. We need to know that we are sinners and we need to give our life to Yeshua where he can straighten us up. And even when we are born again, we sin and we need to repent. We need to give our uh, thoughts to him. I was listening to a lady yesterday how she was saying what I believe too. You have to die daily, every, every night, every day. 
It ain't a once in a t lifetime thing. You have to give your life to him every night, every day. Confess your sins every night, every day. Because you know we are imperfect. We do make mistakes every day. We do things unpleasing in his sight every day. We do things we shouldn't do every day, people. Not just once in a while, all the time. So we need to be confessing our sins. I told you, you do not eat once a year. You do not eat once a day. Sometimes maybe some people do. But most of the time on a norm, we eat three to four and five times a day. So we need to be giving our life to Yeshua the same way, confessing our sins, uh, getting rid of unforgiveness in our life, getting rid of all these temperaments in our life, things that's not pleasing in his sight. And like she say, confessing what you know is wrong to him. When you can confess your sins, he is faithful to, to forgive you from all unrighteousness, as the word says. So we need to be doing these things, people. So I'm going to read a little bit here from... Uh, I think I was just reading from um, this book from uh, Solomon's Glory to Ex Israel's Amazing Story. From Solomon's Glory to National Exile, coming from Splendor to Shadow. It's really one of the old books, Prophets and Kings by Ellen G. White. But I'm going to read just a little bit out of here on page 168. And I just want to read this. This is a very important little something to add on to what I'm saying to you right now. And I don't have to read it too long because I know I'm gonna try to keep this video a little short today okay um it says here <clears throat> the Lord will receive you the Lord will receive you the call to repentance was clear and all were invited to return seek ye the Lord while he may be found the prophet pleaded Call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, he will abundantly pardon. Isaiah 55, 6 and 7. Have you wandered far from God? Have you sought to feast on the fruits of transgression? Only to find them turned to ashes upon your lips. And now your plans are trotted and your hopes are dead. Do you sit alone and desolate? That voice comes to you distinct and clear. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you. Michael 2.10 Your father invites you, saying, Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Come unto me here, and your soul shall live. Isaiah 44, 22, 55, 3 Do not listen to the enemy's suggestion to stay away from Christ. Until you have made yourself better. That's what a lot of us do. Oh, I'm, I'm just so filthy. Oh, I'm drink. Oh, I'm in the pot. I'm in the drugs. I'm in the alcohol. I do heroin. Oh, I do this. Oh, I, I see five and six women a week. Oh, I do this and I do that. Well, you know, I don't care what you do. Yeshua cares what you do, but you need to confess your sins, people, openly to him, openly to him. And he will clean you up. As it says right here, he will clean you up, people. <clears throat> Repeat, it says here, uh, do not listen to the enemy's suggestion to stay away. And that's what he's going to tell you. Oh, God is not going to listen to you. Look at all what you've done. Oh, you've done so many things. Oh, you've done so many things. You had so many marriages. Oh, you had so many this. And, oh, look at you. you, you he's not going to listen to you. Oh, you need to just stay away. Oh, stay away. That's what the enemy would tell you to stay away from God. But you need to be running to God. Run into Yeshua. Run into his arms. Run and run and run into him. Okay. And letting him say, Father, here I am, Lord. Take me, Lord. Forgive me, Father. Help me. I'm weak, Father. Make me strong, Father. I'm weak. I'm weak, Father. I'm weak. I need you, Lord. I need your power inside of me. I need your strength inside of me. I need your anointing, Father. I need you, Lord. You need to be letting him know what you need, people. <clears throat> okay. As Mina said today, very great, gratefully. I love it. I love the sermon today. Um. And it says here, <coughs> repeat the promise of the Savior. Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. I will in no wise cast out. John 6, 37. 
Tell the enemy that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. That's right. You need to tell, you need to tell Satan, uh, you, you want to know my, my future? You need to, I need to hear about your future because you don't have a future. God is going to get rid of you. A thousand years, he's going to put you away. Oh, you need to tell this enemy about his future, people. Don't let him tell you about yours. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. So I say, make the prayer of David your own. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Psalm 51, 7. The exaltations of the prophet to Judah was not in vain. Some turned from the idols. They learned to see and they master. They learned to see and they make her love, mercy, and tender compassion. And in the de- and, and in the dark days that were to come, the prophet's words were to continue bearing fruit in decided reformation. Many were to behold the one altogether lovely. Their sins were to be forgiven. And they were to make their boast in God alone. They would exclaim, The Lord is our God, the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. Isaiah 33, 22. The messengers born by Isaiah to those who choose to turn from their evil ways were full of comfort and encouragement. O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. I have blotted out as a thick cloud that transgressions, and as a cloud their sins return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Isaiah 44, 21, 22. You will say in that day, I will give thanks to thee, O Lord, for thou, for though thou wast angry with me, thy anger turned away, and thou didst comfort me. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in the midst of the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah 12, 1 through 6. This is the, re- the vi- revised standard version. But anyway, people, I love that little book also. All these little books are really wonderful. But uh, inspirational, give me inspiration. And I'm just going to tell you that please, please, please give, give, give. To help uh, the Bible storm go forth with Bob- Barbara. To get all the books out into all the world. <clears throat> all the books out into all the world and uh, what's behind the new world order and I'm telling you uh, time is coming now where we will have to be about our father's business as Mina is saying today as well it's time to be about our father's business people it really is we need to stop being on the sidelines we need to do what we can while we can okay and I'm just gonna read this one last verse I didn't want to forget this because it's very important about Lucifer because I read it before but I'm going to read it again I'm telling you these devils and demons are all around us but we have authority over them once we become a born again child of God and his Holy Spirit is inside of us people I told you that rain and lightning was coming so bad last night hail was coming and I told the Lord to please father just minimize that hail and it came down to pea size I'm telling you and I didn't want it to destroy the cars outside and the and the uh, damage Damages outside the household here and father he is such a grace I just love him so much we know if he ask him if you would just ask him he will absolutely hear you okay he will absolutely hear you as he says here how thou I'm going here to Isaiah 14th chapter from 12 to um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go from 12 to about 16 I'm not gonna read much of it okay How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did if weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon... I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell in the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake kingdoms that made the world as a wilderness? And destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of the prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in his glory. Everyone in his own house. But thou art cast out of the grave like an abominable branch. And as the remnant of those that are slain, thus through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden underfoot. 
thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned, never be renowned. Be renowned, renowned, okay. So we need to know that the devil and his demons and all these things like this are gonna go down. God is gonna destroy them, get rid of them. We're gonna have a new heavens and a new earth, people. We need to be giving our life to Jesus Christ, getting ready for his soon coming, people, getting ready for the bride to ascend with the bride and the holy angels because soon and very soon he will come do not let the devil lie to you do not let the devil have you blaming god god is the lover of all men he made us all people he want us in his kingdom so this is the time to give your life to him people do not listen to the devil do not listen to the devil so please do not blame god do not blame god he has done all he can for you he have given us all that he can give us people we just need to receive it receive it he said he have the keys to heaven and to hell so you need to be receiving it the devil has no charge over you unless you allow him to people unless you allow him to so we need to be just giving our life to yeshua hamashiach and i just want to leave that with you today and i'm gonna pray with you and i'm gonna post some other little links down below along with the links i already mentioned and i just want you to know that uh charles wheeling actually is going to be in uh portland spokane he's going to be in portland spokane and grants pass in uh oregon uh on the dates of the september 17th the 22nd the 24th all of those are on the sabbath weekend on a saturday so if you want to go to attend any of those um you can go to his website www the perfect storm is coming if you're living in that area and attend his prophet sim attend his prophecy seminar i think you will really enjoy i've been going to his seminars for many many years almost probably 25 plus years i've been going and so i just want you to uh be able to attend one of those if you're close by uh and um also make sure you call that number 205-646-2941 the perfect storm is coming and you can request his uh, free copy of that copy and uh father i'm gonna just ask that you be with the people watching today i ask that you come and be in their homes father i just bind satan and all his evil angels below beyond beneath mentioned and unmentioned known and unknown i bind all evil spirits on assignment against this video the people watching i ask that you be with every name on a piece of paper in the prayer box father i just thank you for the people watching my channel i ask that you bless them help them to understand we are in the end at the end father let them know that they need to come to you bow down to you father for themselves father we cannot do it for them they need to do it for themselves father i ask that you help them to give their life to you father while you can they still have time father because time is running out and i thank you so much for this day and we ask all these blessings in the mighty name of yeshua hamashiach father supply their needs according to your riches and glory in yeshua hamashiach whether it be physically mentally spiritually father i ask it all in the mighty name of yeshua hamashiach amen and amen and amen shalom shalom so people you have a wonderful day and i'll be back with you soon as i can with another Another video and I just ask you to remind yourself in John 15 5 that without him we can do absolutely nothing 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 okay amen and amen bye bye have a great day bye love you people